What we're going to do this time, uh, we're going to replace a single side thumb safety. First thing that we want to do is remove the magazine. Check the pistol to make sure it's unloading. We'll start by popping out the original thumb safety. Under two grip safety. Okay, the first thing that we want to do is we get all, everything out of the back of the frame. We want to check and make sure that the part goes freely into the frame and works up and down smoothly. Once in a while it may take a little bit of fitting on the inside groove of the thumb safety. If it, doesn't ha if it happens to not go all the way down like it should. Okay? That seems to work just exactly the way it's supposed to. Now we want to do the same thing with the frame and the grip safety together. Make sure that in the up and down position that the grip safety works freely. We need to put this, the rest of the internal parts back. Because we have to fit the thumb safety to the back of the sear. With the hammer in the cock position, what we want to do is look and see how much material we're going to have to remove from the stud that blocks the sear. As you can see on the previous part, there's a flat filed right there. What we're going to have to do is basically duplicate that part, or that flat, on the new part. I'm going to take just a little bit at a time. <coughs> You'll see that that flat almost runs parallel to this little flat in the concave area. You don't want to take too much off. And just visually check it and see if you're getting close. Okay. I made it slip over so it means we're real close. So about one more file stroke. Maybe two. Barely taking any material off at all this time. Now that we've got that running nice and clear, you want it to contact the sear because if it does not contact the sear in the up position, your sear will be allowed to move and crawl out from under the hammer hooks. Squeeze the trigger to make sure that it doesn't get any click. Bring housing pin back where it goes. 